Hello everyone, Loot Games here, and today we're going to be opening up some gold item boxes on Super Mechs. So, they are 1 to 8 each this weekend, and we're going to open some up. We have 1,300 tokens. Ooh, we've got 3 legendaries and 2 epics. Advanced Charge Mark 6, Anti-Rifle Teleport, uh, Dragon. That's a new torso. I've, I've not saw that torso yet. I think that's a new one for me. So let's go ahead and see what else we can get. Oh, again, we've got three legendaries, two epics. Let's see what we get. Blood Diamond. Okay, Penetrator Mark 2. Inferno, I've got tons of them now. And a shielded torso. I'm liking these torsos, but I'm a bit ill right now, if you can hear, by the way, guys. I've actually got a really sore throat and a really bad head right now. So, yeah. Oh, we've got a first mythical right there. So let's open up these legendaries. Then we'll open up our mythical. So we've got uh, Demolition. Thunder Stampede, Sapphire Ultra Gladiator, and a Diamond Shell. Now, that shell looks quite good. We'll have to check it out in a bit. So, let's go ahead and open another box up. I think we can open another five or six of these. So, let's go ahead. And we've got four Legendaries and one Epic again. So, let's have a look. Shotgun X Mark three, Inferno Mark two again. Advanced Teleport Mark six, Shielded Thingy, and Firewatch Mark one. Now, that might be worth one using. Not too sure yet. Never used it before. But let's go ahead. See what else we get. Ooh, four legendaries, one epic. Resistance trainer, le yellow laser, two yellow lasers in a row. Okay. The gal bar and death from above. Now, someone said death to above is a very good weapon, but as far as I know, I'm not too sure if it is good or not. Here we go. Let's open the other one up. Ooh, we've got two mythicals in this one. One epic, two legendaries, and one myth. So we've got the crystal sword. Nice. Thunder stampede again. Dragon chest plate again. Not got many of those. Needle Blaster Mark 2. That actually might be really good. And a piercing shotgun mark 2. That is awesome. Like I say, guys, my, my cold is getting better, but it's still out there. Ooh, we have bought 100 item boxes now. And we're gonna go ahead and open these two epics and three legendaries. So we've got the Ember, Van Sealed sh Shield, Yellow, Cesus, and the quadruple machine gun. Okay, that, that looks quite weird. But I'm quite happy we're getting a nice selection of things today. And not just like all weapons or all torsos. Because it's nice to have a nice selection. I think... Oh, two mythicals. Come on. What are we going to get here? This is going to be good. Right, we've got the advanced shield mark three. Rocket blaster yellow again. And meltdown. Please give me an axe. Please. Oh, heat control my one. That actually might be good for my mech. For heat control. That might be pretty good, actually. I might use that one. Let's go ahead and open the next one up. What are we going to get? Oh, my. Back to back. Back to back. Two mythicals. Wow. Just wow. By the way, guys, these tokens are actually buy with real money. So, I am technically paid to play right now. But, wow. Flame boots. Yes. We need to try those out. They're definitely a thing. And the sector eyes. Okay. That's a double... So, I think that's actually better than the one I've got. Maybe it'll do a bit more damage. I'm not sure. But we are in rank 1 still. But we still got a long way to go to get the full um, stars. Three legs and two energy dissolvers. Nice selection of things. But we're getting a lot of the same weapons. A lot of the same legs and stuff. But let's take a look at our mech now then. We have got this mech so far. I mean, it's coming along nicely. Got me into rank 1. So, the flame boots actually go... Pretty well. The less weight. I mean, I think I think the Thunder Stampede actually do more damage, but they do 25 heat damage. They do 54 heat damage. So it's going to be a massive help to my heat mech because um, it can be used if I am low on energy or, you know, if I don't have a weapon or something, I can actually whack them away with that. And 54 is quite a lot of heat, right? So, yeah, I think they're going to be worth using. The Diamond Shell... Mm, yeah, I mean, overall, I've got some good summaries. I don't think the Diamond Shell is going to be worth using, though, because it gives me a lot less life. And, you know, my body right now is actually on point. I really like it. So, we've got the Meltdown. We've got two Meltdowns. Maybe I can make a good mech with those. Like, double Meltdowns. That, that'd be pr quite cool to see. Like, a, a melee mech type thing. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure we're really going to be able to use anything else. But we did get these Sector Eyes, which is better than the Sector Eye by... By a little bit, does two more heat damage, 42 explosive damage, but it weighs two more as well. But it does do a little bit more, so it's going to be worth using and uh, possibly upgrading in the future as well. So that's going to be a good thing. And let's take a look. Sectorize, 
sector are, yeah, definitely. It's definitely an upgrade, 100%. And let's take a look what else we have down here then. We did get the um, heat control. Yeah, that was it. It's going to be worth using 8 heat, 36 cooling. I mean, mm, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth taking something off. 8 heat. That does 43 heat, 22 cooling. I don't think it's going to be worth it, to be honest. I mean, we could take the armor plane off, but then we have a less life. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not too sure, really. I mean, is it really going to impact my mech that much? I mean, I don't need much more cooling. I think I'm set. I need the rockets, really, as well. But I think we should definitely go into a multiplayer battle to say, see how we do. Right, so the first war against is Isabella. So let's see how we do against Isabella. Hopefully we can smash her. I don't know, though. That sounded totally wrong. I just meant absolutely destroy her, not, not anything else. So don't think twice if you was thinking anything else. If not, then yeah, I just mean smash her up like a box of old eggs. Right, 829 life. I'm not liking that at all. Right, what can we do? We're going to grapple her forwards and then hopefully overheat her. Don't know how much uh, healing cooldown she's got. So let's just take a look at what we can do here. 99 cooldown. That might be a problem because we're going to heat up quite fast. Looks like she's got the same legs as what we do as well. She or he. I mean, it could be a she or a he. I'm not going to like them. I'll just say them just in case it's a she or a he. You never know what on these games it's a game. Like you can't just assume that it's going to be a girl or not. Wow, she's overheating me. Or he, them, they're overheating me. See if we're going to return the favor. Here we go. One heal down. And uh, what I like about the flame thing. Oh, no. I didn't even realize she had a flame from her. I'm done. I'm doomed. Minus 12 heat. And she still have a flame from her. Which I think, yeah. I knew she was going to use that. Just knew it. But no, we are in rank one. We have very good challenges now. So it's going to be a really good challenge for us to try and, you know, win a battle. But there we go. We got destroyed. Fair enough. You don't win them all. Like, you can't win every single battle. It's going to be impossible to win every single one. So we are almost demoted. Luckily, when you uh, go down a star, you don't go down a rank. So if you have no stars, you can still stay in that rank and possibly get your rank, uh, your star back. And it's like, uh, pretty cool. So this one might be a bit more... I don't know what that weapon is on his right hand side, but I know he's got a flamethrower on his left hand. Right, so he's put his shield up. I think this is a good time to put our ours up and our mech, sorry, or our little uh, minion, whatever you call it. I can't remember the name of it. He's got a lot of defense, hasn't he? I'm going to have to break through it with my flamethrower or something. I think that'll be a good idea to do. Yeah, I reckon that's going to be a great idea to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Yeah, we'll do the rockets, then we'll flamethrower him just to break through his defense a little bit. Takes off a little bit of his defense. I mean, it's always nice to take down his cooling. So we're actually not doing too bad. But I'm just so worried about his weapons. Because he has quite a lot of weapons left. There we go. We'll try um force the heat on him. There we go. Look at that. Maybe I should have done my rockets. I don't know. I just didn't want to use too many. Because I've got 20 left. Oh no. He's overheated me now. His mech is called Time Up. And guess what? It is literally time up for me. There's no, there's just no way. Ooh, okay then. We might have a chance. We've got one down and he's got double our life pretty much. Let's see if we can overheat him and take him down. That's one. Can we get him again? Let's stomp him away, I think. All right, Inferno Mark 1, then stomp him away. Then I think, do we have a grappling hook again? I don't remember if we do or don't. I think we have one left. I'm not 100%. Oh, no, he's got one move. He's going to overheat us, isn't he? Oh, we just about did that. Right, we can overheat him. There we go. And then we're going to smash him away next time. Hopefully, this just goes well. That's all I can think of. It's the, only, it's the only option I've really got. We're done for. We're doomed. There's no way we can win this now. We No, we've got nothing we can do. This is what I mean. This is why I need to improve my mech. Because if I don't improve my mech, then uh, I'm just going to be stuck like this pretty much. I can just uh, boost into him and that's it. That's my only moves left. We are dead. Sadly, we are dead. But let's try to reclaim our title. I mean, we're in rank 2 now, so we might get some easier challenges, hopefully. I mean, that's all I can, that's all I can do. Try to get some easier challenges. I don't know. 
But I don't know where the music's gone as well from Supermex. So I'm going to put some music in the background. So that's what you probably hear right now. But yeah, sometimes it turns itself off. I don't know why. It's Maybe it's because I use different computers. Right. He looks deadly. I don't know why. He just looks really deadly. Like, he's, he's got so many weapons and so much defense. But is it really going to be that deadly? We're just going to have to wait and see, aren't we? Because we've got minus 9, minus 12 now. Minus 12 physical thing, whatever it's called. So we'll just have to see what we can do here. Well, we've got him overheated, but what's his cooldown? 108, so that means he's got 54 cooldown. Not good. Not good at all. Not good for him, anyway. Good for us, not good for him. Look at that. He's going to have to cool down twice if he's going to have to combat that now. So we've got two more moves here. We could, like, stomp him away to put more heat on him, which would be really good. Look at that. We, we are dealing the damage to him. He can't, he cannot win this now. If he wins this, I'll be very, very surprised. He's got to do two moves to cool down, so. Ferno again. There we go. He's got to do two more moves to cool down now. <laughs> Even to get one move, he's going to have to do two. Boom. You are dead. So does that mean we claim our uh, rank one back? It does. It does indeed. We have claimed our rank one back. We've got that title back. Oh, no. I hate mech's names like this. And his mech looks actually decent. I don't know why, but his legs look really weird. I don't know what legs they are, but they look so strange. <laughs> Do they not look straight? How they're bent back? It looks like his mech's about to fall apart. Whoa, what was that? Was that shotgun? He used some something. Right, here we go. Let's uh, bring him forwards. We've just got to deal all that damage to him. I mean, while he's got no defense, it's good to deal the damage to him as much as we can. He's doing a lot of damage. There's no way. He's got 84 cooldown, was that? So his maximum cooldown is 160-something. Around 170. So let's see if we can overheat him anyway. Why not? Ooh, very close there, but... He's cooled down. Why did he... Wait, why has he done that? Is he waiting for me to waste my weapons or something? I believe that's what he wants to do. Like, wait for me to waste my weapons. I don't know what he's doing here. Why is he calling that? Is he literally waiting for me to waste my weapons so he can just destroy me? Because we are running out quite fast. So yeah, I'm going to cool down as well just in case he overheats me somehow. 148 HP. I reckon I could take him in one or two turns. Yeah, I reckon I, I reckon I could take him in two turns. Ooh, if he gets one more hit on us though, we're dead. We're done for. We just got to hope for the best. Yes, he had to do a double cooldown. Oh, my God, we just clutched it. No way have we just clutched that. That was so, so lucky. And we was out of rockets nearly. He had one move left of rockets. Let, let's mega stomp him. Boom. Look at that. I love the jump. Mega stomp is so cool. Right, we got that back with a load of XP. And we got two stars for winning uh, two battles in a row. So that is awesome. Let's see if we can continue our winning spree in this rank one. Because this is so awesome. What well, we've got against Guza now. Rank 1 Guza. Let's see what we can do. He's got some good defense there. Looks like he's got um, a mech that drains your energy. That I don't know what they're called. If they're called energy mechs, literally. Or if I, I really don't know the name of them. Is it electro mech? I don't know. But will the electric one anyway? You know which one I mean. The blue one. <laughs> you can obviously see it by his mech. Right, let's do the rare heat. Then we'll do the rockets. Just take as much damage as we can. Obviously, his uh, defense is took away there. So, we'll do a bit more damage to him. I don't know what his cooldown will be like, though. I'm assuming it's going to be really high. There we go. So, this is a good thing why I have the Devastation Swarm for now. Like, I'm going to replace it in the future. But for now, the Devastation Swarm allows... Oh, 80. Is that like he has his cooldown? If we can get him... We can. We can. We can overheat him. I'm pretty sure... I'm going to risk it anyway. I'm going to try and overheat him. If he's only got 80, that means 160. And it works out about right. There we go. 150. Because obviously the flame takes... There we go. Look at that. We can overflame him again. Hopefully this um, takes a move off him. It did. And he's almost overheated again. So this is a very good sign. He hasn't got any heat things either, I don't think. So we're doing well. He hasn't even bought out a little drone. No drone whatsoever. Whoa, okay, that took a bit of heat to us. But no, we've won. It was an, it was definitely an honor, my friend. Thank you so much, Guza. You have just claimed me 
My victory right here. Let's just smash him away. Let's just uh, shut my engine down. Boom. There we go. Good game, Guza. Thank you for the win. That gives me two more stars in rank one. We only need two more wins. We're going to do it today. We're going to reach the pinnacle of rank one. Oh, no. Whenever I see a mech like this, I know he's trained. Welcome. People who say that are normally very really good. I'm not going to lie. Right, let's just see if we can overheat him. Can we say hi? No, okay, I'm just going to close it. I don't know which one's hi. Like, I always get confused. I don't know why. Oh, no. It's already drained all my energy. Luckily, we do have a uh, combat for that. Though, like I say, the Devastation Swarm is, is a very big help in that situation. I'm going to put our shields up as well. I mean, it's something bonus to do. He's only got 56 heal. He's only got 56 cooldown. This is going to be... Yes, we've got both our... We can just do him. We've won. There's no way. He's got 50-something cooldown. 102. There's no way. I don't, I don't think he's going to win this. We can do... Yes, we'll do the Inferno. And then we'll stomp him away to get even more on him. I mean, he hasn't got a lot of life at all. And he's got minus 9 on uh, heat now. So that's good. We've done him. No way have we just done that. <laughs> wow. It's done. It's done. That's it. Finishing move. What should we do to him? Should we flame him? Yeah, why not? Flame. Bang. I love the blow for that. The blow up for that. That is great. Great. 1,000. And we need one more star to reach the pinnacle of rank one. This is going to be absolutely epic. We're almost rank 25 as well, which is super cool. Can't wait to reach um, level 50, not rank. Level 50, because level 50... Uh, level 30, sorry, 30. I meant 30. Level 30 will give us... Oh, no. We've got a good challenge now. But no, level 30 will give us um, mythical boxes. All right, we've got a battle on our hands now. He's got a physical mech. He's coming at me with the physical attacks. We're just going to have to see what we can do. Devastation Swarm is always in there for the save. Like, honestly, it's a good weapon. A lot of you guys told me to remove it, but I like it. I, I do really like it. But that's just me, though. Like, you can you cannot like it. You can think it's a waste of time on my mech. And eventually, I will remove it. So, we've already overheated him. But what, what cooldown does he have? Right. Here we go, then. The fun begins now. So, he has 146 cooldown, which will go down once I've attacked him with this one. And then my drone as well. There we go. Right. We've ruined his cooldown. Now, we just got to get him again. We're going to stomp him away as well. Even if it overheats us, I'm not too bothered. Is going to want... Yes! Two again! Oh, I can't believe we've done this. I'm going to use the Devastation. And then, uh, can we grapple him forward? Yep, we can. Grapple him forwards. And then the drone. It's got five HP. <gasps> and he don't even get a move. We've done it. We've done it. We've been in rank one. Let's just know. No way. We've done it, guys. We have reached the pinnacle of rank one. That's unbelievable. Right then, guys, that has been awesome. I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners tomorrow, Thursday. Don't know what time, but I will draw them and announce them tomorrow. So hopefully you have, guys, have a great day, a great week, and um, good luck in the competition tomorrow. If you have skipped to this part, hopefully you do get this part. And remember, it will only be people who have put their ID and their name in the last video. We'll leave it in the description, so you've got one more chance to try and enter that competition. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm actually creating some more mechs. Uh, so, yeah, I'm in the process of doing that. These aren't complete yet. But anyway, guys, please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty. And peace.